In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to add another user account on a Chromebook. So, if you share your Chromebook with someone else, or you just want to have separate user profiles for your work stuff and your personal stuff, or something like that, you can set it up so that when you turn on your Chromebook, you'll be presented with two different user accounts that you can log into. And then you'll have completely different settings, files, passwords, accounts, apps, and everything like that, depending on which profile you log into. Every user profile on a Chromebook must be linked to a specific Google account in order to sync all of the files and settings and everything to that account. So if you're sharing this Chromebook with multiple people, this will be ideal because you can each sign in with your own Google accounts. But if you want to create multiple user accounts for just yourself, you will need to have separate Google accounts for every profile you create. But as long as you do, you're ready to go ahead and create another user account. So to do that, you will need to sign out of the user account that you're currently using. So we'll come down to the time in the bottom right hand corner here and click on that. And then just come up here and click the sign out button. And now it'll take us back to the login screen that you see when you turn on your Chromebook. And to add another user account, you just need to come down here and click on the add person button down here. So we'll click that. And the first thing you need to choose is whether it's for you or a child. So if you have a child and you have a Google account for them set up as a child account, you can choose child and then you get certain controls and things as well. But if it's just not a child and it's just with a normal Google account, you'll just leave it set to you and go ahead and click next. And now you need to sign in with the Google account that you want to use for this user account. So go ahead and sign in with your email address and password for the account you want to use. And if you have two step verification on your Google account, you just need to grab your phone and authorize that or do whatever you normally do when you log into your Google account. And now the next thing will be to accept the terms and stuff. So you'll really just click accept and continue. And now it gives you some different sync options, but you probably just want to leave them all the same and click accept. And now you have the opportunity to set a pin for your Chromebook. So, Rather than having to type in the Google account password for this account every time you log into this user profile, you could have a six digit pin that you type instead. So it's up to you. If you don't want to do that, you can click skip. But Timmy finds the pin is easier than typing in the Google account password. So Timmy will set a pin and press enter and type the pin again to confirm. And now the pin's been added, so we can click done. And now it will give you some stuff about the Google Assistant. So if you've ever used the Google Assistant on this account before, you'll really just be clicking agree, agree, agree or something, and you'll get through it. If you've never had the Google Assistant on this Google account before, you might have a few extra things to do, like setting up voice match and stuff. So you might have to do that or skip that or something, but it'll walk you through that if you need to do that. And now the next thing to do will be choosing a theme. And to me actually has an entire video about light and dark themes on a Chromebook, where Timmy shows you how you can set them all after you've logged in and what the different ones look like. But if you know what theme you prefer to use, you can set that now. To me will choose light theme and go ahead and click next. But whatever you choose, it's not really a big deal because you can always change it later. And now we're pretty much done. So now you can click get started and you'll be into this other user account. So there might be a few notifications and a few apps might be installing because it's very new. And because Timmy has had Chrome extensions installed on this account in Google Chrome in the past, 
it's automatically installed those here, but those are completely different to the extensions you had in your other user account. And everything now will be completely separate in here to your other account. So if you were to open a new tab and go to a website, you would need to sign into that again. Or if you go to a Google website, you'll be signed into the account we just signed into before, not your normal Google account. And if you click on the app launcher down here to see all your apps, all of these apps will be completely separate. And Timmy has signed into this Google account on a Chromebook before. So it's remembering all the apps that Timmy used to have and it's reinstalling them. But if you had never used this Google account on a Chromebook, it would only be the default apps and you could now open up the Play Store to install new apps and those apps would all be completely separate to any apps you have in your other user account. And if we open up the Files app here, as you'll see, none of the local files that were on your Chromebook in the other user account will show up here. So it's completely blank and you could add files in here now and they wouldn't show up in the other account. So it's all completely separate. When you're logged into this account, you really wouldn't know that the other user account exists. And now if we come down and click on the time here and sign out of this account to go back to the login screen. Now, whenever you turn on your Chromebook, you'll have this new user account here that you could type in the pin of this account to sign into this account, or you can click on your other account and then type in the pin of that account and sign into that account. So now, whenever you turn on your Chromebook, you'll have this very definite way of signing into this account or signing into that account. And if you want to add even more than two user accounts, you can do that. You can click add person down here again and go through the same process to keep adding as many user accounts as you want. But that's really all there is to it. That's how you can add multiple user accounts on a Chromebook. But if you want to be able to sign in to multiple user accounts at the same time and switch quickly between them, Timmy actually has another video coming out next week that shows you how to do that.